Hi guys, it's Jazzy, Kirana Jasmine Shooter, your first runner up for Miss Universe Thailand 2023. Mm -hmm. Last year we had Aikan, that everyone said she has that invisible horse on stage with her. Will she walk? Will oh, yeah. she step on it? Mm -hmm. It's like powerful. She totally destroyed the whole stage and you know, yeah. you did that the same, right? Well, I mean, um, everyone has our unique things, you know, but right. it's just maybe I love being on stage and stuff, so mm -hmm. it's like another side of me comes out. Mm -hmm. However, I do have my my sides when I'm also very like vulnerable, when I'm very restless, mm -hmm. when I'm also questioning a lot of things. But on stage is like a happy place. Mm -hmm. It's like the final day to sense as well. So, yeah. Right, right. It's not only the powerful walk. No. The cobra walk came up this year too. What was that? I want to just say... I'm so happy that we have a name for mm -hmm. that walk. You didn't name that? I did not name oh. that. I think um, gave, gave All the right. walk a little name. All right. However, it was for coincidence mm -hmm. because there were some complications backstage with right. the dress, which um, ultimately limited me to walk in a certain way. Mm -hmm. So that was การแก้ปัญหาหรอไม่ได้ตั้งใจที่จะเดินแบบนั้นคือชุดมันชุดมันทําให้เป็นแบบนั้นมีอะไรอย่างนี้คนละแดกอย่างกันเลยค่ะแต่มันแบบด้วยสถานการณ์วันนั้นมันเลยแบบ it's like you know well it's a silver lining you could say when something you think is super bad or you think it's really bad but it turns out to be a positive so yeah the cobra walk was a beautiful accident that was yeah. good. That was a good one. And it yeah. goes with everything too. <laughs> the first gown was inspired by my province, which is Mahong Song. Mm. And my city directors are like, they do jade. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to, it's not like I'm competing by myself. So mm -hmm. I wanted to bring the roots of um, the province as well, but also what is important to the city directors as well. Because when it's like I'm walking, but it's like us as a team. Right. So I kind of was like, okay, for the preliminary, Let's do something that is just totally wild. Mm. So we went with green. Mm -hmm. Never in my life I thought I would wear green. Yeah. But I thought it turned out really amazing. Yeah, you nailed the it. Designers were super, super understanding about my body. And right. I said the only brief was that call. Hey, man, nap the wapi loon. How to see it's a done, but. มันจะมันจะเหมือนไม่ได้เดินตรงจะมีความอะไรก็ไม่รู้อ่ะค่ะดังนั้นมันแบบถ้ามันไม่แนบมันจะแวบแวบก็เลยอยากให้มันมันจ
doubtness and the scare and the fear and everything it just like going down and down down on you ใช่เป็นเหมือนเราอยู่กับผู้หญิงที่ท็อปของประเทศทั้งทัศนคติความสวยความสามารถมันยิ่งอย่างนั้นนะคะดังนั้นสิ่งเดียวที่เรามองหาได้คือแบบตัวเองเลยคนทุกคนเป๊ะสมองทุกคนคือเป๊ะ so you have to look at yourself and find it ไม่งั้นถ้าเรา compare กัน right Right, it does so much of pressure going yeah. on. What do you tell yourself? Well, when I wake up, honestly, I have to be honest. It takes me a few minutes mm-hmm. to get out of bed. But what I like to to think of is like, like, dear universe, show me how good today can get. Is something that I constantly remind myself. Like, show me how great I will do. Show me how good today can be. Yeah. And then at the end, it's like, thank you. Mm-hmm. And then I say, you put my lena. And then and the day is just like thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, that's good now. Before I entered pageantry, I used to have this negative mm. mindset yeah. on pageantry. I must admit mm. that why are we still getting judged by some people that we may respect or may not in order for them to give us some sort of validation that you're good enough or not, especially when it comes to outer appearance. That was my initial thought. Right. However, as I've understood these girls more, it's a stage where you show how proud your body is. And yeah. if we really take a look into the body of each individual woman, mm. we come in so many different shapes and sizes. But the version which we're most comfortable and most confident, mm. and at the end of the day, there is a size in which you're healthy. That is what I always say. Right. It is never good to be underweight because you're clinically unhealthy. But right. it is also never good to be told by the doctors that you're clinically over, right? And it's something that being healthy is something very important. Mm. And we. For me, I've been through a lot with my body, and mm. I would never try to promote something that is unrealistic. Right. Sometimes fans do come and say that we want your body, we want your body, and I, I take it, I take it lightly. So I say, oh, thank you, but yours is great. Yeah. But actually, let's start implementing like mind, like mindsets mm-hmm. that we're all so different. There is no one body to make you win. Right. Yeah. As we've seen in in the past. So my view on. Showing your body is truly empowerment. Mm-hmm. It's truly empowerment. It's not even just that. It's a pageant. That's why it it's a must. Mm. Sometimes you're seen in one pieces. Sometimes you're seen in two. Right. And as Thailand is becoming a more, let's say, culturally global country, mm-hmm. we're accepting trends from abroad. Right. True. Sometimes. Being in a bikini can be seen as more of a norm mm-hmm. than it was, let's say, ten years ago. Yeah. So it's just adapting to trends, but also saying that it's okay. Yeah. So I felt great. Mm-hmm. Everyone looked amazing. Yeah. And it depends on perception as well. How you see it is how you're gonna understand it. For me, being in pageantry, I've taken more greatness out of mm-hmm. the bad. Mm-hmm. For people who don't understand it respectfully, that is totally fine. Yeah. But still take some good out of it as well, such as what we say on stage, mm. at least. Well said. Well said. Our a, best a lot of us have maybe like, especially looking up to PV now from her past. Like we've seen the comments, yeah. and being together, we see the comments, and it's never a good feeling. Like mm. us women or all of us are already naturally insecure about many things. I would really admire someone if they say they have no insecurity. But spotlighting those insecurities. Is it never a good feeling? Mm. So to be able to overcome it, and like Anne said, on the final day, be like, "Look, this is me." I think is super empowering. And us girls backstage, like, do you need some oil? Do you need a, some mm. help rubbing your lotion in? So I think it was a very strong, very strong group of ladies who looked amazing. Yeah. Uh, seeing you experiencing this, good and bad, all the comments from the fans or the anti fan whatsoever. One song that came up in my mind is "Pretty Hurts" by yeah. Beyonce, <laughs> and it goes, "We shine the light on whatever is worst." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. And I think it's so true because you have all of the things in the world that a person who's in pageantry and competing must have, but still. People are still looking, focusing, shining the light mm. 
on the worst 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 thing worst หรือเปล่าก็ไม่ดูได้ซ้ำ not not everyone can have that body But it also, takes a lot of work yeah some light that it is okay to have cheat days and let's mm. not even call True. it a cheat yes. day because it's another day where right. you enjoy yourself right. and we deserve that everyone right. everything you do has to be in moderation mm. it's not that i deserve this burger it's i want to eat a burger i will eat it it's about right. balance. but yeah but mm-hmm. if i know that my body has been having too much sodium then let's switch it up yeah. but even some months I'm snacking on stuff that's not healthy as well, and that is okay. Yeah. It doesn't mean that we have a routine where this is what we eat, this is what we drink, and if that makes you happy mm-hmm. and that is the lifestyle you want to live, yeah. then you do that. Mm. You know, maybe get a nutritionist or something, but just because you see us in our best versions mm-hmm. that we've worked so hard for, doesn't mean. That this is what we do every day. Mm. This is what we want to present. That I can be the best version. However, some days I just want to eat chips and be lazy, and that is what humans do. Right. However, on some other days, let's also empower each other. Let's also eat healthy because we love ourselves. Mm. Mm. Just do the best for yourself, and don't forget to have fun mm. because that's all about life. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy it. it. Life. Enjoy yeah. it. If you've gone too far on that side, come back a little bit to make it balance, yeah. right? พูดเรื่องถึงความแตกต่าง Yeah. You got something about ความเห็นต่างความแตกต่างในสังคม conflict. Yeah. The youth and politics and everything. Yeah. That was a very hard question. Honestly, it was. <laughs> um, but when I think when I get a long question, I think of I pull out the key words. Mm-hmm. So youth, politics, mm-hmm. and communication. Right. Or like. Unaffected, ineffective communication. Mm-hmm. So then I thought of like the big picture. Why is there war? Why is there conflict? Why do people hate b a n or mm. hate each other? Mm. It is really just down to not understanding each other, or not respecting each other's opinions, or not agreeing with each other's thoughts. But giving that person the respect, or giving you the respect, will really mend a lot of things. Mm-hmm. So when it comes down to not just politics and the youth. But any job, any people, it's all communication. Right. What you want, and what they want. Mm-hmm. How do I send the message in which you can understand it, without getting hurt, but also transmitting the message right. doesn't hurt people right. during the process. Mm. So it's honestly just communication. Mm. Easier said than done, definitely, mm. because that's thinking not with emotion. Mm-hmm. And other factors, yes, factors are many, there, many factors, right? But, but you feel like communication is key to, key to solving solve problems. the problems with friendships, with relationships with your parents, mm-hmm. when it comes to politicians and the public in general. Right. It's communication, right. whether that be honesty, transparency, mm-hmm. speaking from your heart. Mm-hmm. Communication you. is key. <laughs> yeah, so just wrong. communication. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. m a n d i n ในระดับหนึ่งและคนสามารถเรียนฟรีได้ถ้าเราสามารถยกระดับขึ้นมาแบบนั้นนิดนึงก็อาจจะดีได้ด้วยกันเนาะ The tax is more; it's higher. Mm. That's why they can invest in education. Right. So there's always a counter claim mm-hmm. for whatever claim. Therefore, oh. sometimes it's like I don't like to compare Thailand on the rankings mm. because I love the country. I think we have a long way to go, mm. but I think we're all proud to be Thai, and this is the standard of Thai women. Mm-hmm. However, it's just not fair. Mm. I would love to also say that it's tough because the world is not fair. Mm-hmm. Not all of us get. Equal voices, equal pay, equal mm-hmm. rights. However, if we're all here and you ask us about like how we could improve Thailand, mm-hmm. I think when you have w h o t education, it right. all starts with a healthy mind, a healthy body mm-hmm. to conquer many more things. So let's fix it from the root. I think. Right. You are one of the example that people have been talking about. You mm-hmm. um, haven't gone to university, but somehow you have learned so much. Maybe so much more from so many people in the country that have gone through universities. Um, what did? How did you do that? Well, I think I need to thank my both my parents for being. My mom is a very strong woman. She's been through a lot. Yeah. My father has been blessed with a great education. Mm-hmm. Actually, Anne and I went to the same high school for mm. a bit of time. Okay. But I also did go to university. It's just that with a lot of other plans I have, so it's not about. What degree you have, and a degree is a measure 
of, let's say, your intellect. However, there's much more than that. I respect mm -hmm. everyone with a degree. I think it's one of the hardest things ever. Right. You know, but to learn, you don't have to be in a classroom. Right. We have our own path, and you have to yes. choose whatever is best for you. And I hope it can inspire some of you guys as well to follow your path, but also show that you can be beautiful, you can be talented, but also you can also be intelligent as well. Right. ถ้าย้อนกลับไปได้อยากบอกตัวเองหรือ empower ตัวเองในตอนเด็กว่าอย่างไร What would you be telling your younger self to empower her? I think when I was very young, I had great confidence. Um, however, when it was 16, 17, 18, when you start to grow into a woman is when outside voices start hitting you more during high school, when I stepped into the industry. So if I could say something to not the younger self, but myself when she was down the most, is that it's going to be okay. Mm. I, I know this sounds absolutely insane that you heal somebody saying it's going to be okay. But sometimes I just hug myself and it's like, Jazzy, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. And that whatever you're feeling, feel it deeply. Feel the pain, but go through the pain. Don't ignore the pain, like block, 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 block. Because like me and Anne were saying, one day we're gonna explode. Mm. So feel it, but learn to buy wang and move on. So I would just say, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Feel it, experience yeah. it, yeah. and go through it. Yeah. You'll become stronger. Yeah. That was good.